Jesus, yeah, walked, on, Jesus walked on water. Yes, Jesus yeah. walked on water. All right, Jesus. Yeah. But people that couldn't see, he made them see. Yes. 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 And then, and then when he was dead, he came back to life. Absolutely. And what evidence do you have for this? The, right. So, great. Right, let's let's talk about that question. Yeah. He's come here with the attitude of he's got his little atheist script no, of I his don't. human secularist. No, I'm not an atheist. And he's environmentalist. And he's I'm, come I'm to attack an and to ridicule the Christian faith. I am saying that you have, in your worldview no grounds to uphold any moral system. Neither do you. Right, hold on one second. Let me reply to that. Your agnosticism means that you can't even describe the world around you. I can, why not? Because you've just created... I'm a, not making a moral you've judgment, made, you've made a, can describe You've made a contradictory truth claim. The way, the reason Muhammad believed that claim yep. is because he saw the angel with his own eyes. He didn't believe it because of that reason. You got it wrong. Stories about the lives of the Caesars, evidence about the lives of the Caesars. Answer my question. Then you have to admit that the New Testament documents are evidence. Thank you, there we go. Thank you. So we've gone from there's no evidence of the resurrection to there is evidence of the resurrection. Any other any other questions about Christianity? Yeah, yeah, of course. Right. So, go on. Hello, mate. My name is my name is Ali. Nice to meet Ali. So I'm agnostic. What's okay. your name, mate? Bob. Right, Bob. What are your what are your claims? So my claims are that human beings are fundamentally broken in their heart. They're, they're sinful. I'm, I'm, if you, if you interrupt less, you might get a full answer. So, the, the human beings are, are broken in their heart. And that brokenness we call sin. We don't live up to what we were created to live by. And that means that we stand in a world, we live in a world of sin that expresses itself through injustice. And that the way that we can resolve that, the way that we can resolve that is through submitting to Christ as our Lord and Saviour and become his disciples as our teacher. I'm sure you appreciate that. You know, it's said that human, human beings or humanity goes back about 200,000 years, recognizably, right? 10,000. 200,000. And there's so many scriptures in history, right? And it seems to me that Christianity, like all the other religions, is, is, is a, has a syncretic nature, right? Whereby anything within Christianity has a lineage in history somewhere else. Okay. Right? So, I understand your claim. What I want, I mean, you, you might go on for ages, basically. That we're broken. That we're broken as, as a species, you're saying, right? Do you, no, water, bro. Do you disagree with that? So, so, so what I'm saying is that maybe you're looking in the wrong place for an explanation for human behavior. Okay, let, let me ask you a question. Maybe maybe evolution and evolution, evolutionary psychology. Do you know what evolutionary psychology is? Uh, uh, let me ask you a question. Do you believe that, that human beings, that human history testifies that human beings are whole, complete and sound? I mean, why do you expect another species of ape on the planet to be this sort of complete angel sort of species that's we're just part of the overall context of the universe no 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 you, you, you're assuming shame, too much there we have fear and we have a need for survival yep. right we have we have the, the gamut of emotions that we have it's an algorithm of so emotions. in answer to my question so in answer to my question when you look back at human history yeah. would you say that human history has been it has been filled with injustice or filled with justice i mean human history has been filled with justice and injustice but on the whole what we consider justice right. is justice for us great the, kins, the chickens great. i assure you the chickens and the cows yeah. right, don't agree with our justice great right? so so justice so, justice, is so justice. justice so justice and british justice is british justice so justice and so 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 the, so, the concept of justice right so is, you're arguing incomplete. so you're no, arguing no that, that you're arguing that there's so justice. you're arguing you're arguing that there is no idea of right and wrong that it's just social construct yeah right great so in a society in a society 
that believes that we should wipe out all the Jews, right. which we've had an example of. Which society was this? That was the Nazi society. Not Germany, yeah? Yeah, Nazi okay. society. Not the rest of the world, Na just Germany. Exactly, okay. yes. We're yeah. talking about that society. So Germany so is would, bad. Would, Germany. Or, or based yeah. on what principle? <laughs> It's based. It's based on. Uh, it was based on. Uh, why, why? Why was it bad to wipe out all the Jews? And, and, and but self, why is self eugenics bad? Self-preferentialism. Why? Why is that bad? Look, let me. Exp can, I, can I make? A, can, let me get a pointer, and I'll help you understand. No, this I want you to. I will, no, I want you to answer my I'll question. I'll help you understand. Why I'll was it bad? Why is it bad for a chicken when we slaughter and eat it? Okay. Because it's the chicken, right? right? So it's bad when it's us. It's bad when we're being killed as a species, right? But it's not bad when we are causing cataclysm, ecosystem collapse on the planet. So you've got That's not bad, you've got right? a contradictory so, so, position. So your there. your morality is specific to your situation. It's contextual, right? So so, so you haven't so, answered so, my. So does, let, let's let's have a conversation. Okay. So you have claimed you have claimed that that the 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 that, that, that um, justice is a social construct, but then in the next breath. You have tried to say that Nazism was bad, on, but that is just another social construct. Yeah, you, it is. Right. I agree. So on, the, in other words then, we're just talking about opinions, aren't we? Yes, yeah, your opinion. Right. Of course. I'm right, say, I'm absolutely. Saying, saying so, so there is, for your worldview, for your worldview, there is uh, no... Which I don't, compla right. which I Wait, don't say second. is complete. I'm not telling you... I've we will have better... We'll, we'll have, we'll You're have, saying you've got a complete worldview. Right. No, no, no. I do have a complete worldview. Okay. So I do have a complete worldview. You're okay. absolutely right. Yeah. So, so, so the point that I'm making out to you is that here's why everyone who watches your YouTube channel should reject your worldview. Okay. Because it is deficient psychologically. I'm not saying no, no, no. We one, one, second. One, one second. One second. I didn't say. Can we, we have a conversation? Morality. Can we have I a conversation? Think morality is important. Can we have a conversation? I think morality is necessary for the survival of the species. Can we have a conversation? So I'm going to. It's, 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 so, it's a necessity. It's so, not a nice. Okay, I'll just start interrupting you then. So basically, no, right. Words in my mouth, so, so I what be we? Able to defend myself. So yes. Yeah, so but let's have a conversation. Yeah. Okay. Right. That means you make a point. I reply. I yeah. make a point. You yeah, reply. I'll, so I'll just correct it. So, 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 we, so let, let's interrupt one another less and we'll have more of a conversation no, than if we just interrupt. Or otherwise, I'll just have. I've got, I've got no, uh, no okay. regard for morality. That's not no, true. no, no, I didn't say that. You see, you're not even listening. You're so okay. busy interrupting, right. you're not even listening okay. to what I'm saying. Yeah. Right? And that's why I'm saying, for crying out loud, let's have a conversation. Go ahead. Because you're not listening yeah. to what I am saying. No, I'm not. I'm not I am I'm saying yeah, that ahead. you have, in your worldview, no grounds to uphold any moral system. Neither do you. Right, hold on one second. Let me reply to that. Because, as a Christian, we reject the relativism of your worldview. So now you have to prove Christianity. Right, yes. so let me re firstly demonstrate the fallacy of relativism. Do you, you believe you I'm gonna, Christianity? I, in proving yes, Christianity, yes, 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 yes. You will disprove yes. One second. the fallacy of relativism. One second. I'm going to disprove the fallacy of relativism. No, no, no. Is every truth claim relative? Yes. Does that include your truth claim just then? Uh, yes. So that means that your truth claim is not an objective reality. Of course. So it's not an accurate it's description of the world. It's my perception. Exactly. So you can't even describe the world around you. Your agnosticism. No, 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 I exist. I exist. Your agnosticism. I, I know. Cognito ergo sum. But the point well, that's is, a certainty. your ag your that's a agnosticism. Yeah. Your agnosticism means that you can't even describe the world around you. I can. Why not? Because you've just created. I'm a, not a, making a moral you've judgment. Made, you've made a, I can describe. You've made a contradictory truth claim. Why? Is the is it a true statement? All truth claims are relative. Look. Answer the question. Wait a second, wait a second. Stop shouting. Relax. Relax, right? We're talking about Christianity, yes? Yes. So you're claiming Christianity. Christianity claims. I don't make any right. I don't make any claims. I'm not claiming, Christianity claims Christianity claims that there is an absolute clear truth, a real truth. Let me get my word in. Do you agree with that statement? Yeah, of course of course Christianity claims. But do you agree with it? Of course not. Or, I mean, or why? I mean silly. Why do you disagree Just with let it? Let me make my point. Okay, right? why do you disagree with it? I am not claiming I know it all. You're claiming you know it all. I haven't made that claim. Just one second. I haven't made that claim. Just one second. Go on. 
you told you, we, we talked about not disrupting, right? Right, and so when you yeah, stop so, interrupting yeah, me, okay. I'll stop interrupting you. That's I just right. always find it funny That's people right. complain That's that right. they shouldn't be interrupted That's when they feel free to interrupt. Yeah. So do you want to have a conversation now? I do. I think right. we're having a good conversation Go on, then. so far. Let's keep it up. Right. right. So you're claiming that you know, your, or your religion is a complete world view. It You've is. Said that already. It's a complete right. way of life. So you know where we came from, what the universe is, what it's all about, where we're going after after death, right? And that, we're, that our consciousness will continue to exist, right? So you're the one that's claiming to have the complete answer. Yes. I'm saying let's slow down for a minute, right? Yep. Let's not jump the gun as a species yep. and say yep. this is the truth, right? Yep. I'm saying we should slow down and just revise revise things, right? And uh, uh, be humble in relative to the, to the universe. Okay, right? can I can I so, reply? So so between me and you, it's, it, I'm not the one that's claiming to have the, all the answers. So don't ask me questions about morality and relativity Can I reply? And all that, and 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 say, got you. You don't have the answers. Can, can okay, I reply? I don't have the answers. Can I reply? I'm not claiming to have the answers. Can I reply? It, it's, so let me find a few words, right? And ultimately, the, uh, it's, it's upon you, yeah, because you've taken it upon yourself. Yeah. So my apologies. You've taken it upon yourself to claim that you have the, all the answers. So therefore, you can need I reply? To, you need to make. You need to give me the evidence. Right. I, I right. So now let me reply to what you've said. Yeah. Right. You're absolutely right. I am making a truth claim that there is such a thing as truth that we can interact with. And I am pointing out to you. I agree. Okay. One second. There, is, I am, there are truths we can I, 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 I am. Right, you're interrupting, right? So the, the point that I'm making out to you is that if your worldview mutually contradicts itself, it's clearly not true. If you're saying that all truth. No, 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 no don't interrupt. Don't all right, fine. We'll just talk over one another again. And you'll complain when I do it to you. But when you're saying that they're all truth claims are relative, you're making a truth claim. If that truth claim is relative, it isn't an accurate truth right, claim about me. the world. Right, I have got you. I have got you. Oh, right, Sunday I have Jesus, got you. Jesus was now, alive. Now, there was a man. Now I, there was a man. Now I have got you. Now I have got you. Are you listening? We don't know when. We don't know. Are you listening? There was a man that lived in a whale stomach. Are you listening? Don't you believe there's a man that lived in a whale stomach? Are you listening? Right? Are you listening? He's going to run away now. No, no, no. He's going to run away now. He's going to run away now. And unfortunately, he doesn't want to have a conversation. Because when I was talking, when he was talking, he wanted me to listen. But now I'm talking, he doesn't want to listen. No, I'm making so up. I'm from now on yeah. at liberty to interrupt him as I please yeah. and watch him complain when I do. Oh, right. Now, so, let's be clear. So, the agnostic, so, the agnostic yeah. has yeah. proposed yeah. a mutually contradictory yeah. statement. Lived in a way he has stomach. said that Be all Christian truths are relative. But the reality is, yeah. if you say right. all truths yeah. are relative, yeah. that must include the claim that all truths are relative. In other words, yeah. the position of the relativist yeah. is relative to himself and is therefore yeah. not an objective Truth. So about, so Moses, no, so ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Moses parted the sea. Therefore, if, right. if two truth claims contradict, it means that it is not yeah. sound thinking. Did, uh, what does this mean? Did Moses part the sea? It means that we have established that there is truth so, uh, that we can engage with. Did Jesus walk on water? Now we've established. Yeah. Yeah. That there is did truth. Jonah, did Jonah live in the whale's that, now we've established. Yeah, therefore, Jonah lived in the whale's Now stomach, that we've established right? yeah. that there is truth that we can engage with, I agree with you. the next question is how do we find that truth? That's a much more intelligent question than the silly gotcha it's, moment it's questions you're not asking. The Bible. It's certainly right. not the Bible. Okay, I mean, you can, no, one you second. Whatever it is that it is, I'm here to hear you. So, hear you out. Yeah. Let's, let's think about what truth is. Right? Truth yeah. is that story that best describes reality. Oh, so, so that, that's including, what truth is. Jonah living the whale's stomach. Yes, that, yes, that's, okay. that's, 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 yes. Yeah, that's look that, at the camera and the say best, yes. 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 Jonah, so, Jonah lived in the whale's stomach. Yes. No, he didn't live, he was dead. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, he was dead in the stomach. Oh, well. Jesus yeah, he was dead. On, Jesus walked on water. Yes, Jesus yeah. walked on water. All right, Jesus. Yeah. Made people that couldn't see, he made them see. Yes. 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 And then, and then when he was dead, he came back to life. Absolutely. And what evidence do you have for this? The, right. So, right. Let's let's talk about that question. Yes, that's the question. Let, let's let's talk about that question. Okay. So the evidence that we, let's firstly understand the question we're asking. We're asking a historical question. So let's think about You're it as a historical claim. No, 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 no. Yeah, I am making an historical claim. Yes. So let's so investigate brief. it yeah. as historians. Yes. Right. What do historians do when they examine history? They look at patterns within history on the whole. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I mean, so I'll tell you what they historians look at all do. The evidence. They look at all the evidence. Brilliant. Right? Now, here's the thing. There isn't a single historian, are you listening? Yeah. Even Bart Ehrman, who's a critic of Christianity, accepts... A very good critic. Yeah, he is. But listen to what he said about the resurrection. Yeah. He... Listen. Are you listening? Are you listening? I'm listening. Are you listening? Yes, yes, yes. He accepts that the first apostles had an experience that convinced them that Jesus Christ had yeah, risen from the dead. So do I. Right, you've had an experience that no, convinces no, you. I accept that those people believe the bullshit they believe. Right, why? Because lots of people believe nonsensical what, things. What would convince you that a man had risen from the dead that you knew was dead? Look, what convinced them? Answer the question. What convinced them? No, answer the question. What convinced no. them? No, answer my question. They saw it with their own eyes, yes? Answer my question. So, just answer my question. Can I answer? Yes, without, without you here is my question. Right. Here is my question. Yeah. What would convince you yeah. that a man you knew was dead yeah had risen from the dead. Very good question. What would convince and you? I will answer your question. Go on. Right? right. So those people that were there at the time, Jesus' friends, right, according to your claim. That's not my question. This one, can I answer? Yeah, my question. All right, yeah, I'm answering your question. Go on. Right? So Jesus' Jesus's friends, right, the people that, he, that claim who knew him, they knew him. They saw him, they claim they saw him with their own eyes. Still not my question. I'm finishing. But yeah. them talk. They claim with that they saw him with their own eyes, right? And because they saw him with their own eyes, therefore they believed he was resurrected. And now the answer so, to my so, question. So, so if, if, if seeing the, the event with their own eyes is what convinced them, that's what will convince me. I did not see it with my own eyes. There you go. There you go. Did you hear what he said? Did you hear what he said? He said, if I saw with my own eyes a man who I knew was dead, I would believe that a man yeah. had risen from the dead. Ah, that would be evidence. Yes. No, ladies and gentlemen, he accepts that the first people to preach the resurrection had experienced something no, that had no, convinced no, them that Christ had risen from the dead. Yeah. Just like Barnum. Just like Barnum. So, can I make a point? One second. Wait, wait, you're one second. Yeah, wait, second. What are the claims of the apostles? You put word in my mouth. What do the apostles claim? So I think the whole thing is, is mythological. What do the apostles claim? I think, I think the idea that these people saw another man wake up from the dead is just mythology. I'm not accepting it. You can think what you like. Just a second. Oh, That's just a thought. Okay, it's just an opinion. And I can say the same thing about you. You believe that a man lived in a whale. What do I believe? Right? I don't believe he lived. You didn't listen the you first time. He was dead in the stomach. You believe a man collected a pair of every terrestrial animal, put them on a boat, right? And and there was a global That's not what I believe. Flood. You're making an assumption. You believe, you believe. You're making an assumption. You believe that? That's not what I believe. Okay, what you believe? That's about, not what I believe. Tell me about Noah. So, no, no, no. Noah? We're not changing the subject. Yeah, we're no, changing, we're having a conversation. Yeah. We're having a conversation. Because the thing is, yeah, look, you've come here... So, so, no, 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 no. no, no, no. Said, said I, 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 okay, I, I, ladies and gentlemen, he's come here with the attitude of he's got his little atheist script no, of his human secularist no, no, I'm not an atheist. and he's environmentalist I'm not an atheist. and he's I'm, come I'm to attack an and to ridicule the Christian faith. I'm not ridiculing. But let's I'm be clear. Yeah. Let's be clear. Yeah. He said... Yeah. The thing that would convince him okay. that a man had risen from the dead is that he would have to see it with his own eyes. Yeah. Bart Ehrman, yeah. and he said on camera yeah. that You're the really earliest right. apostles had an experience 
that they had seen the risen Lord with their eyes. There's no evidence. The apostles claimed. There is evidence. What's the evidence? The, apo the evidence is in this book. It is in this book. Yes. Yes. Listen. Listen. Yes, listen. So right now, this just, wait, just, wait, just a second, just a second, my friend. So right now, this man is going to prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that 2,000 years ago, a man, a man made three fish, a hundred fish. Prove it. Right. Here's what I'm going to prove, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to prove with evidence that 2,000 years ago, men believed that they had seen their Messiah rise from the dead. And I am going to prove it with historical evidence that the earliest Christians were convinced of the resurrection. Are you listening? 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 Okay. Bear with us one second. Oh man, it's good to get some moral support for a team, you know? <laughs> Listen, this was the writings of the Apostle Paul. He wrote between five to ten years after the life of Jesus on earth. Yes, this is the evidence that the first Christians believed in the bodily resurrection of Christ. Listen, because you're interrupting. But you're interrupting. Listen. For I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received. That Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. That he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. After those to more than 500 brethren at one time, most of whom remain until now, but some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. In the early church, they were convinced by the testimony of those that witnessed the resurrection. That is historical proof that the first Christians experienced a vision of a risen Lord. That was their experience. And what would it convince him to believe that a man had risen from the dead? He said, I would have to see it with my own eyes. And that is what they saw with their own eyes. Wait a second. Can I make, can I make a point? I'll make a point, right? Go on. So, me and you agree that there's a story about this guy called Muhammad, right? Talking about Jesus. No, no, it's, okay, no but it's, it, we're playing a mental experiment. Okay, right? go on. So me and you agree there was a man called Muhammad. Yeah. Right? And the, there's a claim out there in the in, in the world that this man, while he was in a cave, yeah. 1,400 years ago, yeah. right? He saw the angel, right? Mm. And the angel told him yeah. that he is a, a prophet, and the angel gave him a portion yeah. of God's words. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. the claim. That's right? the claim. So the way the reason Muhammad believed that claim yep. is because he saw the angel with his own eyes. He didn't believe it because of that reason. You got it wrong. So in principle, it might, look, let's just play a mental experiment, right? Okay. So because we don't know the reality of what happened, yep. we weren't there, right? And it's a long time ago. Right? Yeah. So uh, the way the, so, so the way Muhammad believed is when he saw that he saw the miracle, right? No, that's not the way he believed. Before he, before that event, before he saw the angel, he did not believe, he, he didn't even conceive of the possibility. That's also right? not true. Fine, look, bef when, when Moses parted the sea, right, before he parted That's the sea, right, uh, a lot of people might not have believed that he's a prophet, right? But the, 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 the miracle of him parting the sea proved his prophecy, right? It was a miracle, right? And when people saw the miracle, they became convinced. Yes. Right? So 
if 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 those people that were around Jesus, right? If if the myth, just one second. No, no, no. If you can't complain is, about interrupting. You've been interrupting yeah, me consistently all the way through. Enough, and I apologize, right? If that's the case, if, if it's if, if it's the case, if that's it's not the case. If it's actually the case that these people saw a man wake up from the dead, right? If they saw it, then I would understand why they would believe it. And they Correct. Would, they would be beholden in believing that, right? Fair enough. Brilliant. But. That evidence of seeing, yep. it, 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 it's for them, right? Because they saw. No, I did not see. I disagree. Right? So I did not see. I disagree. But I can't take their testimony. I need to see as well. well no, I disagree. Right? Why is their testimony good? I disagree. Why is it? Because let's suppose someone came to them, right? Those very same people. No, no, no. I disagree. No, no, no. Let me let me come back. No, 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 no. no see, the thing is, no, because the thing is, you lost the moral high ground when you interrupted me consistently earlier. So now allow me, allow me to talk about, because here's the problem. This brother is completely ignorant about religion. You are ignorant. The reason why Muhammad believed that he had seen an angel is because a pagan and a Christian had told him that he had seen an angel. Look, he believed I'm not making based claims, upon I'm not a claiming, testimony. I just used no, 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 listen, it just, listen. It was just an example so, of a so, and, and, I'm not, right. I'm not But your whole claim. premise is completely false. What you're trying to say, you're false? trying to say that the testimony of authoritative figures, it's the testimony, you the test, your, and, and here's the to, point. I don't need to prove the your point, claim. Your te the test, the whole approach that you've got is wrong. You're trying to say okay. that I have to no, experience to it to believe it. And you've not given me any evidence no, no, other than a verse You've in the never Bible. even listened to anything I've said. You've, ne you've never even that listened. People have walked away. Exactly. What was the evidence? It was a verse from the Bible. And what was the statement in the verse in the Bible? Some people saw Jesus wake up from the dead. Exactly. I mean, so here's the point. Why is the evidence? Here's the point. It is evidence to the fact that there was some transformative experience to the first it's a claim. people. It's a claim. No, it's That's a fact. It it's not disputed you, by Boerman. It's think, not disputed you, by Mike Lacona. It's not disputed by any person who has studied the fact. The, the re hold on one second. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm ready for my No, oh, that, this is the, the thing. No, no, one second. One second. No, one second. You made a number of points, and I'm going to try and address those points, and then let's do closing statements let day. me address the points that you made and then let's do closing uh, statements I, I'm ready. Can I okay. make no 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 I, I walk away no you the lost time. the moral high ground when you persistently interrupted me you can't complain all right you can't so, complain I'll, I'll make my closing right statement to the so camera. what what I'm gonna say so, what I'm gonna say <laughs> is that you, you made a number your whole approach is wrong you're okay, assuming fine. Give, there tell, are many tell me things what the evidence is. help me please there are many things that you believe that you don't have evidence for, and you base those beliefs. Forget me. Then you Forget base me. those here, beliefs. I'm here, I'm here to hear you and you up, base right? those beliefs on the claim. fact that authority figures have told you something, and you accept who's the their authority. Who's, who, who's told me anything? What are you talking? About? Okay, right. The, all the way through this conversation, yeah. right? If we just ignore the fact that that you you, you couldn't conduct yourself with any manners. Let's just forget that I for a second. Look, if I've come across like I was rude, well, I apologize. People, I, think, I think we've had a good debate so far. I think, we, I think we're having I a I think it descended into a shouting match. And I, 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 but, but, but the point but, but, is, but, but, there's been no point at which I've been able to speak that you haven't interrupted. But it was still coherent. And you're still doing it now. Look, you're still doing it now. I'm going to give you as long as you want, but you have to present your evidence. Actually present your evidence. Listen, listen. The reality is that your entire approach is wrong. Because you do accept the testimony of other people all of the time. If your friends say to you, X did Y, if you trust that person, then you will believe X did Y. The reality is, that, and, and this is something that even Bart Ehrman agrees with, that there was, there you go again interrupting, I'm going to give you all the time. But, but you're then you interrupt. The ridiculous statements. You Listen. Know what? Let me start again. Listen. I'm really going to try hard. Yeah, really time. try hard. Oh my God. Really oh, tried hard. Yeah, really yeah. Because the reality, bro, yeah. is if you come at this conversation with arrogance, it becomes really easy for me no, to knock you down. Right. There you go again, interrupting. Look, what's arrogant? There you go and interrupting. You accuse you're me you're of arrogance. You're consistently don't interrupting. Don't accuse me of arrogance. Right? So, what's bro, arrogant is to claim to bro, have all the answers. Bro. That's what you claim. No, I've never made that claim. I've never made that claim. I've never made that claim. 
made that claim. Don't accuse me of arrogance. Prove to me I've said that I've got all the answers. Are you a Christian? Prove. Do you believe in Christianity? That's your own, that's your own bigotry speaking right there. Christianity has all the answers. Christians don't make that claim. Christianity No! They don't. Not Christians. No! They don't. You're ignorant of religion, mate. You're ignorant. But you already said you have a complete worldview. Yes, a complete worldview is different right, okay. from having all the answers. You see, if you wouldn't do it, if but you would actually... Please give me the evidence. No, you tired. see. Give me the evidence. You see, the point I'm is... I'm actually getting tired. The point is, bro, and hopefully your audience is better than you are. Hopefully your audience is better than you are. Because you are filled with stereotypes and characterizations about Christians and about Christianity. Christianity does not claim to have all the answers. In our world view, there is incredible scope Give me what for new... Give me something. For give it. We have incredible view, world view, in our world view, to learn and to inquire. That's why the sciences were born out of a Christian milieu. Because Christians don't claim to have all the answers, and we do believe that you can learn in knowledge. But the challenge that you have to do, and the challenge that your audience have to do, is you have to explain to me what happened. I've given my hypothesis. I've given my hypothesis. Is it a hypothesis? When you're talking in terms of history, you're talking in terms of hypotheses. So your religion is And the point is, no, 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 listen, listen, listen. The question that we're investigating, try to do, approach this question as an adult. When we approach this question, well, there you go. When, when, no, no, no. It, did, did Jesus so, a, water? so asking questions yeah. about history is childish in your worldview. No, it's history. Is That's serious what you've stuff. just done. Right. Stuff. So do it seriously. You, you do it seriously then. And what you do when you inquire about history is you come up with a hypothesis that explains the evidence. And the evidence is that 2,000 years ago, a whole bunch of people were convinced that they had seen a dead man rise from the dead. Right. Now, you have to give a hypothesis that explains why. No, I don't. You're a funny man. Sorry, okay. So you're simply saying no. On what grounds do you deny the idea that a man can rise from the dead? On what grounds? Yesterday. On what grounds? On the grounds that it happened 2,000 years ago, and I'm not obliged to believe it. No, 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 I didn't say that. No one said that. I asked you, on what grounds on the ground do you that deny a... that it could happen? Look, <laughs> on what grounds that you, it could happen? Would you agree with me that extraordinary No, answer my question. No, I don't agree with that. No, no, I don't agree with that. I answer, that, answer that question. Ladies and gentlemen, I, that was, answer, answer, answer that question. Answer my question. On what grounds can you say it could not happen? On what grounds? I'm not saying it could not happen. There you go. So that means you have to entertain the hypothesis. But there could also be a No, if you are months, not willing right? to say it could not I could, happen, I could right then now. you have to entertain the hypothesis. Right I could right now jump a thousand feet no. in the air. I could. No. Is it going to happen? No. It's, if you, know, you are saying yeah. that it could Smith. happen, you Smith. have to entertain right, the Smith. hypothesis. All right, I appreciate You're it. stating that it's Smith, but you have no basis for it. I'm going to make my closing statement. Right, you make your closing statement, and then I'll make my closing I statement. I appreciate your time. You know, I think it's, uh, it's been a bit wild. Are you going to let the camera stay here for my closing statement? Yeah, of course I will. Okay, go on, make your cl I closing statement. No, I just want to, because I don't, I don't like the idea that I've come across like I've, I've been rude. You have. So, and I apologise, right? Apology accepted. And, and I think we've had a good conversation, right? And maybe we can continue at another time. Uh, I think when it comes to religion, ultimately, and it's the same thing I tell a lot of, a lot of religious people, that yeah. we can't treat religion like a treasure to be defended. We should treat it like a theory to be proven. Right? Okay. And we should be open to the criticism. And we should, we personally, as, as if, if we're believers, we should challenge ourselves the way other people challenge us and the way we challenge other people, right? So, so, uh, excuse me, I don't, I, I'm not being rude if I say, look, I, I know what you believe, right? I, and I hear you are, I can, I can see what you, why you're saying you believe it, but it's just not quite working for me because I think we've got a different perspective on how we think about this, right? Because is this the closing statement? This is my closing statement because it seems like we're watching the same movie seeing something quite different, right? And what I would propose is what we do is we just use uh, basic critical thinking, right? Like, uh, and, and the basic
basic the basic questions of critical thinking are who, what, when, where, how, and why. Yeah, yeah great. So, let's use it. So, so let's let's look at let's look at. But one second, hold on. This, this is a closing statement. Yeah, and, 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 so and, close and, and, your and, statement. And I'm going to talk for about a minute, a minute more, right? So we look at an event like the event of Jesus turning a small number of fish into a large number of fish, right? When was this? About two thousand years ago, right? Uh, where was this? We're not really sure, right? Uh, Caesarea, okay. Uh, what's the, what's the, uh, who was there, right? It was Jesus, and, uh, uh, the apostles, and a bunch of other, other more people, right? That's, how do we know all of this? What's your closing statement, bro? How do we know all of this, right? It's written in a book, right? Which is pseudography, yeah? And if you don't know what pseudography is, Google it, right? Okay, can I reply? Because so, this so, is a so, long so, closing so, statement. So, so uh, let's not... Um, uh, sort of believe things without extraordinary evidence. E extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and it might, and as far as I can tell, you fail to provide the extraordinary evidence. Okay, so allow me to reply. What 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 I think we saw here today was an example of very slack and lazy thinking on your part. I would and, say and, and, no, 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 part, right. that's fine. because what, we, what we've got here. I didn't insult. No, it, well, it I was, didn't insult. No, no, I'm talking about your agnosticism. Talk about my ideas. Because, so, talk about yeah, me. exactly. I am. Yeah, talk about I am. Idea. Talk I am. About the idea. It was very slack and lazy thinking because you, we identified a contradiction at the very heart of your own worldview. The idea of I relative truth view, claims, right? that in itself is also contradictory. That's, a, that's also a contradictory statement. You do clearly have a world view. And the fact that you deny it, rigid, like and the yours. fact that you deny it, demonstrates a lack of a personal awareness. Now, furthermore, I would state, if you accept that the resurrection could happen, you have to entertain the idea that it did happen. We're talking about a historical question. The question that we're talking about is what convinced a whole bunch of people independently to believe that a man that they knew was dead had risen from the dead. And any honest person would recognize that the only sufficient proof that could convince such a person is to believe, is to see and experience that person alive and not dead. Now simply saying it could not happen is not an option because what that does is that presumes a world in which God does not exist and that is not a world view that can be evidenced or proven. So therefore you have to ask yourself is there evidence of the resurrection and the answer is there is evidence of the resurrection. The problem with skeptics is that they don't have the courage to follow the evidence. We do on other matters. We do when we talk about the lives of the Caesars. We do when we talk about the life of Napoleon. We do when we talk about Aristotle and Plato. But when it comes to Jesus Christ, we took the evidence out because we don't people, like the evidence. No, that was our closing day. statements, remember? So, anyway, I would like to give you a gift. I would like to give you a gift. <laughs> There you go. Conversation. Nice the conversation. Time, Maybe we can do it again. This you is know for what? you. It's going to be bad for the environment. Well, why, why are you fighting to read it? It's going to be bad for the environment why, why? if I take it and throw it in the bin. You know? so, I, don't, I don't want to be wasteful, so, honestly. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, the yeah. thing is, the thing is... Oh, you know what? If it satisfies you, I'll take it. Yeah? What, to throw in the bin or to read? I mean, I'll read it, Okay. I'll give it back to you next week. Fair yeah. enough. Come back, just, come back and talk. Because it'll be good for the environment. Yeah, 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 yeah. come back and talk. All right. And by the way, on the environment, bro, you'll find that we have a lot that we agree about. Yeah, of course. I'm sure we do. I'm sure we do. Oh, we do? Yeah. yeah. Nice one, mate. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions, guys, about the Christian faith? Okay. So, I'm getting, I'm going, I want to actually do a talk. Finally, I want to do a talk. Let's change the batteries. Okay. Well, basically, what you saw was it, oh, the brother was obviously very keen to get his his arguments out. No, no, no. You, you stood right there. You stood right there. I'm doing it in front of you, not behind you. Yeah. No, it's a wrap-up. So the so the brother so the brother so the brother wanted to come and he wanted to get out his arguments. His arguments are, are the same kind of thing that humanist secularists use and the new atheists use. 
But what you saw demonstrated is that in this worldview is a friend. fundamental friend, contradiction. Yeah. We're, we're on the same team. I'm happy to treat you as a friend. Yeah, we're on the same team. But uh, we're, we're not. Look, I see you as a fellow traveller and a journey. Yeah. And we're just discoursing, right? I'm not here to attack you. So engage with the evidence. Yeah, yeah. So I did engage with the evidence, but you really failed to present any. That's the problem. No, I did present some. Me you just you, don't you like put it. a different perspective on what evidence is. What, 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 so what's you, your... what's your you a bit of pseudography. What, what's the historical evidence? So you, a bit of pseudography... What's the historical you know, evidence? A bit of writing and a book is historical evidence. To me... Are you saying that's not historical evidence? It's a kind of evidence... Thank you. But it's not the kind of evidence that I'm going to throw all my eggs into its basket and say yeah Jesus was definitely came back from the dead he definitely walks on water and Jonah definitely yep. lived in the whale's yep. stomach uh, Moses definitely parted the sea yep. Noah definitely yep. you know, got a, a yep. pair of every animal I get the and, point you know uh, the, the whole idea I'm glad. I'm, oh wait, one second. Anyway. I'm glad we've established that it is evidence. Uh, I'm glad we've evidence. established it's that it evidence. isn't. It's no, you, no, wait. So it's, what is it then? It's no more evidence. What is historical it's evidence? No more evidence. No, one second. Just, just one second. One second. No stories about the lives of the Caesars. Evidence about the lives of the Caesars. Answer my question. Is Plutarch's Lives of the Caesars? Yeah, please do. I'll answer it. Because this is the point. People that don't want to deal with the New Testament as evidence have no consistency, none, in terms of their historical inquiry. None. Right? I want to ask you very clearly. Plutarch's Lives of the Caesars. Well, no, answer my question. One second, answer my question. Plutarch's Lives of the Caesars. Is it evidence about the lives of the Caesars? Yes or no? It, it makes part of the overall body of evidence. It, so it is evidence. It's a, it's a part of, of, of right. The then you have yeah. to admit that the New yes, Testament yes, documents yes, are yes, evidence. Yes, I admit. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. So wait, we've wait, gone from wait, wait. there's no evidence of the resurrection <laughs> to there is evidence yeah. of the resurrection. Are you done? Can I, can, can I speak? 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 Oh, do, 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 no, 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 keep it. You could have left it as a listen, catalog. Listen, statement. listen, listen. You've got it wrong. You've got it wrong. I, I'm going to do a wrap up. I am going to. I'm going to. He's running away. He's running away. He's running away. Okay. So here's, here's, here's the falsity of what the brother said. Here's, here's the falsity of what he said. And it is an idea that lots of people share in our culture, which is the idea that Christian beliefs came from the Bible. That's totally wrong. The Bible came from Christian beliefs. It was the experience of the resurrection that gave birth to the writings of the New Testament. Amen. It wasn't the writings of the New Testament Hallelujah. that gave birth to the ideas of the resurrection. What? The writings of the New Testament yeah. are simply evidence of the ideas. Yeah. And it raises the question, why? Why did so many people believe that a man that they knew was dead, rise from the dead. Shouting for all of you guys. Shouting for all of you guys. So, ladies and gentlemen, the, the, the problem with the agnostic's argument is he wants to dismiss the evidence because he doesn't like the evidence. But as we just saw, when challenged on his historical consistency, he is forced to admit that the New Testament is evidence of the resurrection. And any honest person will have to admit that the New Testament is evidence of the resurrection. And then I simply challenge them, do you have the courage to follow the evidence?